I work uh, connecting artificial devices, in particular hand prosthesis, artificial limbs, with the nervous system, with the idea of recreating the natural bidirectional link we have with our natural hand. If you look at all the people who received um, a hand prosthesis after an amputation, most of them, they will tell you that the main problem is that they're not able to feel anything from the prosthesis. This, this makes the control more complicated. For example, you have to constantly look at your hand while grasping something, and it makes it impossible to feel the prosthesis as part of the body, what is called embodiment. So I feel that my, my hand belongs to me. Uh, if you're not able to feel that, the, the quality of your usage is significantly limited. So if you look at Star Wars, Luke Skywalker gets the, the artificial hand, which looks the same, at work the same, and is controlled in the same way of the natural one. So the question is how, how, whether we can reach this level, and in case we cannot, how far we can go in that direction. So for example, can we control right now only grasping task, or are we going to control finger movements and which kind of precision are we getting? What kind of sensor information we can get? For example, if I grasp an object, I can get information about the contact, the pressure, the texture of the object, and all these kind of things. The same for the proprioception, for the movement of the fingers in space. Are we talking about controlling few grasping tasks or controlling different fingers? So different levels of control. There are many, many challenges. The very first one is to create and use in the best way the neural interface, which is the electrode we implant into the peripheral nervous system. The idea is that this interface has to be, of course, biocompatible, but at the same time also extremely selective. So able to recruit or record from small fascicles in, an, in a larger fascicle in a larger nerve. The very first step for us was to understand whether the proof of concept works. We performed a four-week clinical trial implanting electrodes into the peripheral nerves of an amputee, Dennis, showing that it is possible to restore a real-time sensory feeling in this patient while he was controlling this hand. Soft. Hot. Medium. Suddenly I could feel things uh, that I haven't been able to, to for so many years and, and it was uh, a kind of, you can feel round things and hard things and soft things and that was quite amazing. The hand has several sensors attached to each tendon of each finger and we can use these sensors to understand the level of force the patient was performing while grasping an object. And we use this force information to deliver very precise stimulation to the different sensory nerves in order to restore this real-time sensory feeling into the nervous system. The feedback was totally new to me and, and suddenly when I was doing some movements uh, I could uh, feel actually what I was doing uh, instead of looking what I was doing. The most exciting moment during uh, these many hours of experiments was the one when Dennis said that he feels in the same way the squeezing that he was performing with a normal head as the one that he was performing with our prosthetic hand. In that moment, many years of our work made their gratification and we were feeling extremely happy. Next step is to be able to bring these results to long-term applicability. So to have the patient using this not for four weeks in the laboratory environment, but long-term for months or years in his or, or her own environment at home. And to do that, we are also miniaturized, working on miniaturizing all the electronics to be placed in the patient for this kind of achievement.
the technology is there, more or less. I mean, maybe a couple of years of improvement, refinement, but we are close to this. Uh, the problem is that all these things cost a lot of money because making clinical trials with implantable, implanted devices cost a huge amount of money. So that's probably the main issue. Open, open. <laughs> Okay,